Hi guys, it's Christy and I am here today to film my April wrap up. So I'm sitting down to edit this video and have realised that I included a book in it that I didn't actually finish until May. Don't ask me what I was thinking, I have no idea. I've included it in my stats and the graphics I'm going to put up on the screen, it's not going to be included if you know what I mean. So ignore what I'm saying on the stats and kind of look at what I'm showing you instead. I'm gonna go because I look like this and I'm just out of shower and I wasn't planning on filming anything obviously or else I wouldn't look like this. Enjoy the rest of the video and apologies for the fact that what I am saying and what I am showing you don't add up at the beginning. Are we good? We're good. I've got some stats here and yes, I have them written down because my memory is horrendous. I read five books in April. I had two two stars, one three star, one four star and one five star. So not the best month in regards to ratings. It does work out at a total average of like 3.2 stars, which feels better than my actual reading month was. Just realised I've been filming that I sat there the whole time, so it's fine. I'm not starting again. We're acting like it was never there, it's okay. I think I've found the reason for that, so hopefully, hopefully going forward it'll jump up a bit from 3.2. We have more, we have more dogs outside. For page count, I read one book under 200 pages, one book under 300 pages, one book under 400 pages, one book under 500 pages, and one book over 500 pages, I think, looking at it. So it's a total of 1732 pages for the month and an average of 346 pages per book. But that's all the stats I'm going to do, so I guess we will just jump right in. The first book I read was my five star read of the month, which I started and finished both on the first of the month, which is why I think my rating feels quite high because the only five star was I literally read on the first day of the month. So anyway, it was Saga Volume 4. Synopsis for this is basically just, it's about two people, a girl and a guy, from different planets who are at war and they get together and have a baby. So everyone's a little mad about it and that's basically it it's it's nothing more exciting than that it sounds more boring than it actually is it's really 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 amazing i read the first volume of this for becca's 48 hour bookathon and fell in love and ordered all of the other volumes that were out at the time so i'm slowly making my way through these actually realizing i haven't read one since the first of april definitely has me realising I need to read another one so I will try to get to that this month. It's always great, I love this series. Five out of five. Read it, it's incredible. So the next book that I read was Truth Witch by Susan Dennard which was two stars. I think when I originally read it I said I was going to give it a three and then the longer I sat with it the more I realised I really didn't like it. So it's definitely a two. I read it for the Witch Lands along that Jade is running with a few of her co-hosts and it just, just wasn't, wasn't good. I've heard a lot of people say that it's better on Dreedy. There's a lot of details, there's a lot of stuff going on, there's a lot of characters, but it just got lost on me. I just didn't, I didn't enjoy it at all. I was confused, like I thought it was, it was fine, but it's like the more I learn about what was meant to be understood the less I like it because I just didn't get it. There was so much information thrown at you in one book in such a unnecessarily complicated way that I just didn't, I didn't like it. I did buy the second book which irritates me so much because I don't think I'm gonna read it. As much as I want to join in with Jade and like support, I just, I'm not putting myself through it. I'm not. It's a lesson I've learned this month just because the book club doesn't mean you have to read it. You're not obligated to read things you don't want to read. And when you do, it just ends up with a two star rating because you don't like it. But I did actually own this for ages before then because the initial premise, which I don't think I've actually talked about yet, did sound intriguing to me. So it's basically about this girl here, can't remember her name, don't want to remember her name, who is a truth witch, basically meaning she can tell whenever someone is lying. So when she's in like this fantasy kingdom 
where there's is it a kingdom i don't know i don't know she's in this world a bunch of people want her everyone's chasing after her she's not that special it's a big deal i'm sorry <laughs> really don't care enough to give you more than that it's it's not good but if you want to know more plenty of people are speaking about it right now obviously due to the witch lands along and you can you can jump in there and see what everyone's saying maybe you'll find someone that enjoys it more than me that's very likely and the third book that i read in april was get a life chloe brown so this was my four star read of the month i did go into expecting it to be a five star so i but like obviously you can see <laughs> By all the tats i did really really enjoy this book and i've just like put dust everywhere by doing that i i did really really enjoy this it just didn't have that five star feeling for me so i'm sticking with a four i'm happy with a four i've heard a lot of people give this four and then the next two books in the series are five so i'm not sure if i'll be getting to danny brown and eve brown in may or if i'll maybe hold off till june because i'll get extra points if i read them for whatever you want from one we'll see I'll see I'm not sure I'm not sure when I'm gonna read them but I am ridiculously excited to so yeah I annotated the crap out of this um lots of sticky notes there is some writing in it which I haven't done for a while so it was actually quite fun this book was really good it's about this girl Chloe Brown and she goes through a near-death experience and then decides that she wants to write a get a life list so she moves out and then the superintendent of her new building helps her complete this list and there is disability rep in this as well if that is important to you guys and in the next book Danny Brown she's bisexual so I am very very excited to read that because we love a bi queen but yeah that's what this is about it is so much fun I really really enjoyed it and I would totally recommend it to anyone who wants to read it. The fourth book that I read in April was Day of the Triffids by John Wyndham. I have a really pretty edition of this book so I'm not getting rid of it. Um, I rated it a three which is interesting to me because I think looking back it would be like a low three. It wasn't the best thing I've ever read. Uh, it was for the Burned Book Club, the Burned Books Club uh, run by Maddie and Spoops and we did a live and it was actually a lot of fun. I missed like the first 20 minutes because I still wasn't finished the book so that was fun but yeah it was it was it was good it was good. My main issue is I wanted so much more from it. I loved the idea of the premise but I just didn't feel like it was executed the way I wanted it to be which I suppose you can kind of put down to the fact that it's a classic and obviously writing styles have changed so, so much over the years because this was originally published in... Where is it? First published in 1951. So obviously like 70 years ago, um, I can imagine everything would have been a lot different then. But I, I did enjoy it. It was good. I, I wasn't massively invested in the characters, like the atmosphere wasn't what I wanted it to be. I really feel like if it had been written nowadays by a different author, the atmosphere in this would have been incredible and it would have been so creepy and so weird and just an amazing dystopian, whilst I think just because of the time it was written it wasn't the best. I do recommend it, I haven't read a lot of classics but I have a little deal with myself that every time I read one of the cloth bound editions I can then buy another one because I want to buy all of them um, but if I do that I won't read any of them so I'm determined that when I buy them I then have to read one before I can buy the next one. Not that that was relevant at all to what I thought of this book but yeah uh, three stars it was good it was fine if you want more like information on it I guess you could check out the Burn Book Club live it was it was interesting it was interesting we had a yap but yeah so that is the five books I read in April because the majority of them did get low ratings they took me a lot longer to read so I think that's why I only hot five because bear in mind one of them was actually just a graphic novel volume so that only took like an hour to read yeah, I didn't have the best reading month. I am hoping that May will be a lot better. I'm already feeling a lot more positive about it. I have decided to skip out on any fantasy. I'm not taking part in any book clubs. I don't really, really, really want to read the book. And if I'm not enjoying it, I'm not going to make myself finish it just for the book club as well. So I'm hoping 
but May's gonna be a lot better. I'm currently reading To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han and really, really enjoying it. It's so much fun. It's so light and fluffy and exactly what I needed after all of this. All of this, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. This was probably a horrendous video, I'm really sorry. It definitely wasn't as much fun as my last one, but we'll take it as it comes. I can only, can only speak to you guys about what I actually read and hopefully from now on it will be much better things than this. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching my April wrap up. Feel free to comment down below, like, and definitely subscribe if you are enjoying my content so far. This is only my second video, so I'm really sorry if I'm a bit here, there, and everywhere. I'm trying to get a grasp on things. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!